Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, it's getting close to uh, nine o'clock in the morning and it's getting warm, very, uh, very warm. And I just wanted to share with you, uh, I bought a couple of um, snips. I thought this would be ideal for the, the carrots, but it's way too big, especially when I saw uh, this little tool there. And uh, I've just been through uh, all my uh, my carrots and mate, you, you can just quite easily get in, just snip them off. Uh, over the years I've pulled them and over the years people have said snip them. So I've took their advice and uh, that little tool there uh, has been absolutely ideal. And uh, I am just finishing off now sowing any empty stations. I am putting extra seeds in. Pop those back into the packet. It's, uh, some of these uh, stations have been taking uh, a, a lot of water just to try and, you know what cocoa coi is like. It just uh, won't soak water up just, just like that. It will tend to just run out and disappear. But uh, let's trap the water in there now. The condensation will form on the insides and uh, dribble back down. So that's how I'm thinning my carrots and that's the tool that I use. And uh, I've just spotted another station that I've missed so I'll get that done. So all of these uh, seedlings here up to there are going to get a, a, another water and uh, I'm not bothering watering those. We want the tap root to go down like I said before uh, and uh, just to water these without damaging and knocking over the tops. I've just been going around like that. I've just noticed another one that's got um, two seeds per station. I'll get that one sorted. The more you look, the more you find. Let's get these covered up, keep the moisture in. saying the uh, tap roots on the carrots will go down it's heavily mulched so it should be damp underneath and uh, we've uh, just looked after the ones that probably can't look after themselves and uh, no sign of the uh, motley dwarf virus spread by the carrot willow aphid at the moment but I'll get the net on and I've done a little harvest of the uh, Abaco carrot uh, out of here. Uh, it's got to be four foot high. Uh, just in, and this doesn't seem like there's any damage from the uh, carrot fly, which look uh, like this. Uh, I've just washed them. Uh, a bit of a mix, but uh, definitely uh, looks a nice carrot and uh, hopefully tastes like one as well. I've uh, picked some more radishes <coughs> and. Uh, uh, that one there I've just sliced down. You can tell whether they're going woody or not, how easily the knife slices through. This one had got some damage on the outside, so I've cut it in half to see whether I can actually salvage anything from it. Again, on that one we've just cut the top off to see uh, if it's still okay. But these uh, radishes um, are a different variety to the Sparkler 3 that I normally grow. So the red ones are on the left and the white ones are on the right and uh, some have got really big so and they look like they're going to seed so some of those will be gef left just like these radishes over here and then they'll end up forming seed pods like these which are very tasty in one's lunchbox if picked young enough these are almost ready to harvest now for the seeds within them doing a video about seed saving uh, later on maybe after this very 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 record-breaking hot spell that the UK will be getting or we've already got it by the time you watch this video and a quick tip that I use 
all your carrot tops that you cut off, cut them off away from your source of your carrots and put them on the floor where the carrot root fly can find these and not the carrots that you've got in the ground. So these are the potatoes that we took out of the permanent uh, potato bed. Uh, I do like to save the seeds. Uh, these are the gloves from uh, Cool Job. Uh, the link below uh, is there for their uh, site for, for, for their gloves. But these are the Picasso that we uh, planted on the 2nd of the 4th. I'll be saving some of these for seed again uh, and just potting two or three pots up. So let's. Uh, already pulled the uh, horns out and uh, he's not ready because he hasn't got anything to put them in I'll take my glove off again I'll be back shortly there we go let's get organized this heat's getting to me guys it's getting to me uh, this is my homemade compost and uh, we'll chuck the uh, lumps out of the way that but uh, these are the sort of size that I'll be saving uh, for seed and uh, the rest we'll be eating and we do love the small ones we always love the small ones they steam really easy and uh, quite enjoyable as long as they don't fall through the uh, mushroom tray very rarely add anything to my homemade compost we let it rest for 12 months we mix it all up we use all the different things if you want to uh, pop to my homemade liquid plant foods and compost mixes you'll find uh, everything I do there so it looks like there was two seed potatoes there and all this will be popped into the compost bin the 12 month old one ready to uh, mix again and hopefully i don't leave any potatoes in there but you can guarantee i will it's just a stag right let's go and get these uh, cleaned So this is my wash down station if you haven't seen it before it's connected to an IBC I'll show you uh, shortly put my watering cans there so I can find them <laughs> and of course the uh, cleaning method I must take this home Mrs King might miss it certainly don't want to be uh, taking soil away from our growing spaces it costs enough it co uh, time actually making it so it all goes into the bucket below into the watering can ready to be spread on anything that needs a water and we're going to overflow right I'll get that sorted and I must wash the sink after I've finished. Let's be a good boy. Let's just show you the potatoes. Uh, so uh, they come up nice and clean. Not perfect, but uh, they do uh, do look nice in the steamer, leaving the skins on because the skin's the most nutritious part. I 
as Mrs K don't see me doing this because she'll want me to do it at home as well. That'll keep us going and hopefully uh, we'll still produce after this hot weather. A couple of um, iceberg um, lettuce type lettuce thinking me bobs. Uh, graffiti cauliflower I've got one left I think it might just keep going uh, little bits of the calabrese that haven't uh, blown uh, cucumber there tomatoes uh, first tomatoes going home uh, courgette there some of Marie Curry's scarlet broad beans Another courgette there some red onion the Herald F1 so we've got a nice uh, selection to take home and I'll do the uh, fruit uh, tonight. Another good day's uh, sunshine will uh, ripen uh, the uh, red currants up uh, nicely. Good sign that the uh, black currants are nearly all ready and I'll just strip everyone off the vine whether they're ready or not. Uh, we'll eat most of them and I'm, I'm hoping uh, to uh, make uh, some uh, jam with uh, various uh, berries that uh, we've got, gooseberries, etc. And the last of the summer fruiting raspberries. Been very small this year in places, so I've just been picking uh, the uh, larger ones. The birds can't get in here, they do try, and some do succeed. If they were outside, this would be completely stripped. It does seem like training the gooseberries and other currants, bushes, uphill, uh, is uh, doing a lot better job. Uh, I'm getting uh, a real uh, plentiful harvest. Uh, some of the canes uh, will be improved to bigger canes or bigger stakes really pleased uh, with the effort I put in to put all these supports now I can walk up and down but those need trimming off now and we'll concentrate on the ones that are going uh, uphill what's up mr. blackbird can't you get in Ooh, ooh come and get them first red currants 2022 excuse me Just need a few more hours and they'll be ready to pick. And the lock's there to stop the two-legged people variety going in and uh, pinching the fruits. Uh, the last hour or so I've just been blessed with a little bit of cloud cover but uh, that blue sky is approaching fast so probably the next video I'll be at home. Uh, with another uh, review of something that I've bought uh, for the uh, the garden. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now.